Alright guys, I got a new video for you today. This is going to be on uh, the uh, Droid Bionic, Motorola Droid Bionic, and it's going to be an install video on how to install the new Synergy ROM version 1.0, and uh, I'm just going to kind of get into it for you guys. So make sure you are on um, new Ice Cream Sandwich update. Well, it's not really new anymore. It's been out for a while now. Um, so make sure you're an ice cream sandwich. You can go into uh, settings and about phone at the bottom down here and make sure that it says right here Android 4.0.4. So as long as you're on that and then the other prerequisites you're going to need are, I'll show you here, you want to make sure that you uh, have super user or super sue. This is super user. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't see it there but uh, super user right down here by my finger. Uh, make sure that is installed so you have root access. If you do not, please check out my video descriptions or my uh, video description or just check out my channel and look for my playlist for the Droid Bionic. It'll show you how to do that. And then uh, next you wanna have Safe Strap 3 installed, which is right there. Um, so you just wanna make sure that this is installed and functional. This is Safe Strap 3.05. Uh, make sure this is installed and working before you try to install this. Also, again, look at my channel, YouTube channel, my playlist for a Droid Bionic, which will give you this video on how to do this. So, once you guys have those things done, you're going to go ahead and download the Synergy ROM and uh, the pa uh, data packet, which, again, I will have links to that in my video description down below. Um, and get those, put them on your phone. Once you have them, we're going to come up here and try to power the phone off. So we'll go power off. Uh, we're going to shut it down. And then we're going to uh, go into Safe Strap. So let's let this thing get to Safe Strap. And I will show you the steps from there. All right, so it powered off. So we got to hold down the power button. All right, it's going to power up. We're going to get a splash screen um, on here. And then we're going to hit the menu button down here in the bottom to go into safe mode. So hit that button. Now we're going to boot into Safe Strap 3.05, which is based off of Twerp Recovery. And again, this interface and how to use it, I'm not really going to go over that right now because you can see that in my other videos. But uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go into boot options and we're going to override a slot. I think we're going to override this Whizbean. And I'm going to set nickname to Synergy, just so I'm not mistaken which is which. So we'll go ahead and type that in here. Uh, Synergy. All right, and then go. All right, so now we're named correctly. We're going to activate this slot. Okay, so now you can see Synergy right here is activated and it says ROM slot 2, which is that is the second slot. So we know we're on that ROM. Anything we do right now is going to go be done to ROM slot 2. Um, so what the uh, developer recommends to do here um, is to do a wipe data. So we're going to go into wipes and wipe data wipe is basically a factory reset. So we're going to hit factory reset and we're going to swipe it. Now all this is doing is it's factory resetting ROM slot 2. That's it. Not your stock ROM, nothing else. So we can go back. Uh, he also says to wipe cache. So we're going to wipe cache. Do that again. Only does it to ROM slot 2. Delvic. Wipe that. Go back. And then lastly, he says format system. So that is system right here. So we're going to hit that. And we're going to wipe that. So once system is done, hey, which it is now. So everything's been wiped now. We uh, should be good to go on this. So basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go in and we're gonna install the ROM. So we're gonna go to installs. We're gonna go to up a level. Ice cream sandwich ROMs. So right here you got Synergy ROM. So we're gonna pick it. Make sure it's still there. Synergy ROM V1.0 zip. And we're going to flash it. So when this finishes flashing, um, what we're going to do, oh man, that's pretty quick so far. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to flash the data pack. Um, it has some different features in there, some stuff for making this kind of have some of the uh, TouchWiz stuff in it and Google Now and that kind of things. 
So we'll, we'll flash that. Now he didn't say anything about flashing the G gaps. I think they're included. Yeah, it says up here they're included. So we're not actually gonna do any of the G gaps or anything like that. Um, we'll just let this thing do this and then we'll flash the data pack and we'll reboot. So let's let's uh, let's see what we have here. Come on. All right. So we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna take data pack synergy data pack. Make sure it's still up there. Yes, it is. I'll flash that, and let's see what we got here. Also, just again, anytime you guys are flashing anything, make sure your battery level is very really good. Like right now, I've got 94%. Lowest I've ever gone is 50% flashing something. Anything lower than that is just asking for trouble. If this thing shuts down for some reason in the middle of a flash, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, so now we're, we're done. Uh, we're going to do a reboot system. And it's going to reboot. You're going to see a new splash screen. The other one was red. This splash screen is going to be green because you're in safe mode. Uh, because you're on ROM slot 2, not on stock. And we should boot up here and see what kind of boot animation we have. Um, you can hit this little search button down here. It'll bypass that screen or you can just wait and it'll bypass it in 10 seconds uh, So I just want to see our boot animation uh, Hopefully something kind of neat. I don't know it might just be stock Oh Whoa cool That's a neat looking uh, droid animation. I don't think I've seen that one. I wonder what phone that's from might be like the Razer M or something Razer HD I'm not sure I haven't seen that boot animation yet. That's pretty cool So let's let this finish booting and we will go from there All right guys, just so you guys can see this um, The boot animation ran for about three minutes it took quite a while um, Now it says it's preparing device. Please wait normally that means you're gonna go through the Android is upgrading process Which will take another couple minutes and then hopefully should boot up so just whenever you're reloading or flashing a new ROM when it first boots up it's gonna take quite a while to do it so just be very patient alright well I went through the little setup there um, didn't take me long at all really easy so this is what you're looking at this is basically um, like a touch whiz kind of thing uh, basically kind of like the S3 is your interface this weather up here looks really cool I like that like graphically it looks really really neat um, you got your phone, your your basic stuff here, your settings, uh, some different things here, some widgets, your your Google search bar right there in the middle. Um, so there's basically your screens. Let's see what we have for our pull down toggles. Okay, so these are even themed. You have your quick toggles up here, um, which is neat. You have your Xing out notifications, which we're gonna do, and you have your settings. So let's go look at those. Um, yeah, also TouchWiz themed. Everything's themed as TouchWiz. It's the basic. It's the exact same settings you had on your Droid Bionic. It's just um, themed out for TouchWiz. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty nice. Let's see what we got here um, under apps. Uh, okay, we have awesome Beats Audio. So you have Beats Audio onto this thing. It's built in for your equalizer stuff, which is pretty sweet. Um, what else is new? CPU sleeper. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see here Some different things you can do there. That's interesting some some extra options um, No frills CPU control So you can do some clocking some processor speeds things like that in here You can adjust your governors your schedulers IO scheduler uh, That's pretty cool. You got your smart actions right there, which is from Motorola Super user, which is your root or whatever, however you guys want to pronounce it, root access. Uh, ads away, which uh, allows you to block ads that are being put into your applications, which is nice. Um, what else we got here? Chat on, you got that. You got Flipboard, S Voice built in, which is pretty sweet. Confirm, agree. Next, 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 skip. So, finish. So, that, this is pretty sweet. The S Voice is, is a pretty neat little uh, built into this thing, which is a, like I say, a touch whiz feature. Um, Gmail, basic applications, uh, smart rotator right there. Oh, easy file manager, my favorite, or file explorer. ES file explorer is my favorite. Uh, 
explorer there. I just got a message. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it looks, looks pretty good. Let's see what we got for widgets here. Um, different widgets in there. Nothing too terribly thrilling. Uh, so, yeah, just basic widgets it looks like to me. But Beats Audio looks pretty nice. I, I like the theming. Um, transitions look cool. wonder what kind of wallpapers this thing has. Anything good? Oh, that has to do with screens. Let's go to settings. And we'll go to see if we can find some wallpapers. Display. Wallpapers. I want to see if it comes with anything. Just live or gallery. Let's see what's in live. All right, so we have a couple things. We could do this thing, deep deep sea. Could have this little looking wallpaper. So it's got it's got some unique touch with uh, stuff in here, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna set that. That looks pretty cool. Um, oops, didn't set it. But uh, anyway, we'll worry about that later. But uh, yeah, I, overall, I mean, it seems like it runs flawlessly. No no hanging or lagging or anything. Transitions look really good. Um, definitely liking it. Like I said, this is Synergy ROM. That's how to install it. It's a little review of it. Um, looks really nice. Uh, not tons of customization in it, but runs really flawlessly and really makes this thing look like a S3. So, uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give me my uh, thumbs up on this sucker. And uh, also, I'm putting a new uh, intro on this thing that I kind of throw around there and playing around with. So, if you guys got any comments on that, be happy to hear them. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.